Hello students, in this video we will learn about linear inequalities. So before we learn about the inequalities, we will talk about the equation. We all know what the equation is. Any expression which is having equal sign in between is called as equation. So this is the equation, equation, equation because they are having equal sign in between them. So now talking about the inequality, an expression which are having these sign in between will be called as the inequality. I'm taking the same thing and I'll put these sign in between. 20x is lesser than 100. 2 plus 5x is greater or equals to 0. 9x is lesser or equals to 20. They are not equal. That's why they are called as inequality. And talking about the operation, all the operations that you perform on the equation can be performed on the inequalities as well. But there is only one rule that you have to remember. I'll tell you now. And other than that, all the operations are same as that of the equations. There's only one change. I'll show you that. If the negative number is transposed during multiplication and division in inequality, the sign on the inequality is reversed. So this is the one rule that you have to take care of while solving the inequality. Other than that, everything is same. I'll show you with an example. 5x plus 10 is equals to 50. This is the equation, isn't it? It has the equal sign in between. It is the equation. So I'll transpose this 10 on the other side of the equation. So this plus, uh, plus 10 will be negative 10 here. So 50 minus 10 will be 40. And to get the value of x, I'll transpose this 5, this sign. So 40 divided by 5 will be 8. So I'll do the same thing with the inequality. So 5x plus 10 is lesser than 50. So I'll transpose this positive 10, this side, so it will become negative uh, 10. And 50 minus 10 is 40. And as I need the value of x here, 40 divided by 5 will give you 8. As you can see, I've performed the same operation as that of the equation. No changes, only the sign is changed. Now I'll tell you where you can apply this change. I'll take the same thing but with a negative number. That is negative 5x, negative 10 is lesser than 50. Now I transpose this negative 10 to this side. Now I'll not flip the sign of inequality. This is in the subtraction. This is not the multiplication or division. This is in the subtraction and when I transpose this negative number to this side, I won't change the sign of inequality. Okay. So this negative 10 will be positive 10 here and 50 plus 10 will be 60. Now, as I need to get the value of x, I have to transpose this negative 5 to this side. Isn't it? Now you can see this is in the multiplication and when we transpose a negative number during the multiplication or division, the sign of the inequality is flipped or reversed. So now I am transposing this negative number to this side. And it is in the multiplication operation. So what as soon as I transpose this number this side, I flip the sign of the inequality. That is x will be greater than 60 divided by negative 5. So 5 ones are 5, 5 twelves are 60 and as I have the negative sign here you will get x is greater than negative 12. So that's how it is. You just have to take care of this rule then other than that everything is same as that of the equation. Don't worry, you'll be more clear with it when we solve the example. Let us start with examples. Example 1, solve 30x is lesser than 200 when x is a natural number and x is an integer. Before we give the values of x as a natural number and x as integer, let us solve this and get the value of x. That is 30x is lesser than 200. Let us pick this inequality and let us get the value of x. Uh, so to find the value of x, what do we do? We'll shift this 30 to this side. So it will be 200 divided by 30 and it will be 6.66. So x is lesser than 6.66. So now you have to mention the values of x which is lesser than 6.66. Which values of x are lesser than 6.6? It will be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we have to stop till 1 because 0 is not a natural number. Negative 1 is lesser than 6.6 .6, but it is not a natural number. So we only have to list the natural number. That's why we can start from 6, 
six five four three two one and we have to end it one because zero is not a natural number so that's how simple it is now next x is an integer you have to mention the values of x when it is an integer so which values of x will be lesser than 6.66 the values of x which will be lesser than 6.6 .6 will be 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 negative 1 negative 2 and so on as it is an integer all the negative values will be lesser than 6.6 .6, isn't it so all the negative values of x will be lesser than 6.6 .6. so therefore here you get an infinite set so that's how it is next example example 2 solve 5x minus 3 which is lesser than 3x plus 1 when x is an integer and x is an real number so what do we do first we pick this inequality and get the value of x and then we solve this this thing yeah so let us pick this that is 5x minus 3 is lesser than 3x plus 1 so what I'll do is I'll shift this negative 3 to this side and this positive 3x to this side which will become negative 3x and now 5x minus 3x will be 2x and 1 plus 3 will be 4 and to get the value of x I'll divide this 4 by 2 that will be 2 so x is lesser than 2 now you have to give them the values of x which is lesser than 2 and that should be integer so which values of x will be lesser than 2 it will be 1 it will be 0, negative 1, negative 2 and so on. So all the va negative values will be lesser than 2, isn't it? So we include all the negative values and again this gives you an infinite set. This is the solution of the first question. Next, when x is a real number. Now what is the real number? Real number includes all the numbers. For example, the rational numbers, irrational numbers, the decimals or the integers, whole numbers the natural numbers it include all the kind of numbers isn't it so I'll tell you how to how you write the value of x when it is a real number consider this number line so it will start from 0 0 1 2 3 till infinity and this side negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 till negative infinity so which values of x will be lesser than 2 so all the values from here it will be lesser than 2 isn't it so we cannot include Two, that's why we put an hollow circle this is a circle excuse me for that this is a hollow circle not two but all the values before two will be included in that set so this is how we write it from two till negative infinity and this parenthesis it shows that we are not including two and we are not including negative infinity but all the numbers between them will be included for the values of x. So all the numbers between 2 and negative infinity will be lesser than 2. See here we are not including 2. But it will be 1.9 will be included, 1.99 will be included. Just like that. 2, will, 2 is not included. But before 2 all the numbers till negative infinity are included. So that's how you write it. 2 till negative infinity 2 till negative infinity we are not including 2 and we are not including negative infinity but all the numbers in between the in between them will be the values of x and next example example 3 solve 4x plus 3 is lesser than 6x plus 7 let us pick the inequality 4x plus 3 lesser than 6x plus 7 I'll shift this 6x to this side and this 3 I'll shift it to this side which will be negative 3 after shifting. So 4x minus 6x will be negative 2x which is lesser than 7 minus 3 is 4. So now you have to take care of this negative number because this is in the multiplication and to find the value of x we are transposing this negative number to this side. When you transpose a negative number which is in the multiplication operation, what do you do? You change the sign of the inequality. So I'll shift this negative 2 to this side and I will flip the sign of inequality. So x will be what? x will be greater than negative 2. And when they don't mention if it is a natural number or integer or the whole number, then you have to consider it as the real number. You have to give your answer of x in real number 
So how do you write it in the real number? Let us consider this number line. This is starting from 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 till negative infinity and this side 1, 2, 3 till infinity. So when x is greater than negative 2. So all these values of x will be greater till infinity will be greater than negative 2. We don't include negative 2 but all the values after negative 2 will be greater than negative 2, isn't it? So how do you write the value of x? It will be negative 2. We don't include the negative 2. That's why we have made the hollow circle. And till infinity, we don't even include the infinity. That's why this parenthesis. The small bracket, it means we are not including negative 2, including negative 2 and infinity. But all the numbers in between them will be the value of x. I hope it is clear, students. Example 4. Solve 5 minus 2x by 3 lesser or equals to x by 6 minus 5. Let us pick this inequality and let us find the value of x. 5 minus 2x by 3 is lesser than x by 6 minus 5. I'll take the LCM here which will be x minus 30 divided by 6. So now we can cross multiply. 6 gets multiplied here and 3 gets multiplied here as such. 6 times 5 minus 2x which is lesser or equals to 3 times x minus 30. Let us multiply the bracket. 6 5s are 30 and 6 2s are 12. Negative 12x which is lesser or equals to 3 times x is 3x and negative 90. So I'll rearrange the terms. I'll take the variables on one side and constants on the other side. So there is negative 12x. So I'll take this 3x on this side. That will be negative 3x. So there is already negative, negative 90. So I'll move this positive 30 to this side so that it will become negative 30. So negative 3x minus negative 12x will be negative 15x which is lesser or equals to negative 120. Now you have to be careful as I told you during the multiplication if you are transposing the negative number during the multiplication or division then you have to flip the sign of inequality. Now this is in the multiplication. So this is the negative number and it is a multiplication and we are, we are transposing negative 15 to the other side that is negative 120 divided by negative 15. We are transposing the negative 15. So what we have to do? We have to flip the sign of inequality. So now negative negative cancel. 15 ones are 15. 8s are 120 so x will be greater or equals to 8 and as I told you if they don't mention the natural number or whole numbers or integer we have to give the value of x as the real number. So how do you do that? Let us put a number line and this will be negative infinity till positive infinity 0 negative infinity neg uh, 0 negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 till negative infinity and this numbers I'm starting from 0 I've missed some numbers here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on till infinity so you have to give the value of x so which values of x are greater or equals to 8 including 8 and all the numbers till infinity but not infinity so from 8 till infinity. So all these while the value of x is x belongs to 8 till infinity. We are including 8 here. That's why we are making a solid circle and not the hollow circle. Example 5. Solve 7x plus 3 lesser than 5x plus 9 and show the graph of solutions on the number line. So we have to show the solution of x on the number line. So let us pick this inequality 7x plus 3 lesser than 5x plus 9. I'll move the variable parts on variable terms on one side and the constants on the other side. That is 5x will be negative x here when I shift this and positive 3 when I transpose it here it will be negative 3. So 7x minus 5x will be 2x which is lesser than 9 minus 3 will be 6. So x will be uh, 2 ones are 2 threes are 6 so x is lesser than so how do we represent it on the number line? Let us consider this number line. So which values will be lesser than 3? So x is lesser than 3. We are not including the 3. That's why the hollow circle and till infinity. So this is the solution on the number line. Lesser than 3 till 
negative infinity. Next example 6. Solve 3x minus 4 divided by 2 which is greater or lesser than x plus 1 by 4 minus 1 and show the graph of solutions on the number line. So we have to show the graph. Uh, so we have to show the solution on the number line. So let us pick this inequality 3x minus 4 by 2 which is greater or equals to x plus 1 by 4 and negative 1. So I'll take the LCM here and it will be x plus 1 minus 4 divided by 4 which will be x minus 3 divided by 4. Now I'll multiply this 4 to this side and 2 to this side that is the cross multiplication. 4 gets multiplied here and 2 gets multiplied here. So 4 3s are 12 and 4 4s are 16 and 2 x and 2 3s are negative 6. Now I'll move the variable terms on one side and the constant terms on the other side. So I'll take this 2 x this side and 16 I'll move this side. So now 12 minus 2 x is 10, 10 x and 16 minus 6 is 10 and 10 and 10 gets cancelled x will be greater or equals to 1. Now when x is greater or equals to 1 it is equals to 1 also. So in the number line we are including 1 as well. So we have to make a solid circle. See this number line 0 1 2 3 4 this side and negative 1 negative 2 till infinity this side. So we'll have the circle here which will be the solid circle because we are including the 1 as well. And when x will be greater or equals to 1, the arrow will move this side till infinity, isn't it? So this is the solution on the number line from 1 till infinity. So that's all in this video students. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments. You can see the next video for the next example. Thank you students.